Good morning, Wesley family. I'll be reading the scripture today. It comes from Genesis chapter 24, verses 34 to 38, 42 to 49, and 58 to 67. So he said, I am Abraham's servant. The Lord has blessed my master abundantly, and he has become wealthy. He has given him sheep and cattle, silver and gold, manservant and maidservant, camels and donkeys. My master's wife, Sarah, has borne him a son in her old age and has given him everything he owns. And my master made me swear an oath and said, you must not get a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites in whose land I live, but go to my father's family and to my own clan and get a wife for my son. When I came to the spring today, I said, O oh Lord, God of my master Abraham, if you will, please grant me success to the journey on which I have come. See, I am standing beside the spring. If a maiden comes out to draw water and I say to her, please let me drink a little water from your jar. And if she says to me, drink and I will draw water for you and your camels too. Let her be the one the Lord has chosen to be my master's son. Before I'd finished praying in my heart, Rebecca came out, and with her jar on her shoulder, she went down to the spring and drew water. And I said to her, please give me a drink. She quickly lowered her jar from her shoulder and said, drink, and I'll water your camels too. So I drank, and she watered the camels also. I asked, whose daughter are you? And she said, the daughter of Bethulah, son of Naor, whom Malachi bore to him. When I put the ring on her nose and the bracelets on her arm, and I bowed down and worshiped the Lord, I praised the Lord, the God of my master Abraham, who led me on the right road to get the granddaughter of my master's brother for his son. Now, if you will show kindness and faithfulness to my master, tell me, and if not, tell me so I may know which way to turn. So they called Rebecca and asked, will you go with this man? I will go, she said. So they sent their sister Rebecca on her way, along with her nurse and Abraham's servant and his men. And they blessed Rebecca and said to her, our sister, may you increase to thousands upon thousands. May your offspring possess the gates of their enemies. Then Rebecca and her maids got ready and mounted their camels and went back with the man. So the servant took Rebecca and left. Now Isaac had come from the Ben Bir Laharul, for he was living in Negev. He went out to the field one evening to medicate, meditate, and as he looked up, he saw camels approaching. Rebecca also looked up and saw Isaac. She got down from her camel and asked the servant, Who is that man in the field coming to meet us? He is my master, the servant answered. So she took her veil and covered her face. Then the servant told Isaac all he had done. Isaac brought her into the tent of his mother, Sarah, and married Rebekah. So she became his wife, and he loved her. And Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.